In his first one-on-one -on -one interview, McLean's father talks to CBS4 about his son's death and the troubling pictures taken later by the officers. This all comes amid ongoing backlash over how Aurora police handled a weekend gathering honoring McLean. Officers clashed with the crowd at an event featuring a violin concert. We have team coverage of a police force facing intense scrutiny. Jeff Todd talked with Aurora's mayor about reform. We start with Karen Morfa with McLean's father. Karen, it was certainly an emotional interview that touched on a lot of issues, including those pictures. And Jim, we're just learning that those photos were taken last October, just a few months after his son was killed. And we're learning that they reportedly happened right here at this memorial, just a few feet from where he was arrested tonight. His father, who has yet to see those photos, as the public has yet to see those photos, is calling for action. For nearly a year, Lowayne Mosley, the father of Elijah McLean, has been fighting. Now that it's in front of everybody's face, you can't sidestep what really happened and it, it's, it's just unfortunate that it took this long. Adding to his family's tragedy, new allegations that three Aurora police officers took photos reenacting the chokehold that was used on his son just before he was killed and doing so at a site now memorializing 23-year-old McLean. Cowards. You're a coward and I hope you get what you deserve. Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson says she was made aware of the photos on Thursday, and despite sitting down with CBS4 Monday afternoon, no mention of an internal investigation was made until investigator Brian Moss reported it. In a statement Tuesday, Wilson said they will release the photos and names of those involved when the investigation is complete. Mari Newman, the attorney for the McLean family, says it's a new low for the department. The people in Aurora should be petrified if those are the people who are charged with the protecting and serving them. Mosley says the officers taking photos and those involved in his son's death need to be held accountable and he won't stop fighting until they no longer carry a badge. We're tired of it. We're not going to take it anymore. We're coming for you cowards. Now, the chief says the investigation was completed last night, but because of a lengthy disciplinary process, it will likely be some time before any of those photos are released. As of this morning, a spokesperson for Aurora Police Department says that process was started. All of the officers were given official notice of pre disciplinary measures. Now, they can either accept that disciplinary action or they have three days to respond. And from there, we could even see an appeals process. In Aurora tonight, Karen Moore covering Colorado first.